What's up again guys, yeah, it's me, Dovakin, and welcome back to my Baldur's Gate 3 series. And uh, before we begin, be sure to hit on the subscribe button for more great videos. Okay, in the previous episode, we chose to embrace our potentials by opening our minds to more Mind Flayer tadpoles. Then I detailed my squad's projected Illithid power builds, depending on their classes and up to what extent we are willing to embrace this dark power. Now, as per my progress on the map, in today's vid, we will explore the last region, on the surface that is, the Goblin Camp. But uh, before that, we are here at the north of it, near the mountain pass where we decimated the Githyanki patrol to show you an alternative way to the camp, and a buried chest. There's a substantial gap between this broken bridge, so it can only be jumped by LZ or any STR-based character. But uh, to make everyone clear it and follow her automatically, I'll just employ a little bit of Boxmancy. Eager for battle. Proceeding. What am I to do? No one back home will ever believe this. Breathe deep and move. I'm way too big. You can jump down this cliff on the left to get into the goblin camp. That's curious. All right. We're going to enter the camp via the western road from the Blighted Village. No time to dally. Is that blood? No, never mind. Swift as my feet can carry me. Goblins ahead. Wardrobe. One of those can summon fighters far and wide. Look it, Claw! Sapper's here! Unless you've got another reason to be here. Feck sight! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. Easy, lads. We got a true soul coming through. Lads are celebrating the raid on Joaquin's rest. We kept it a duke, we did. All the way from the city. I, I'm sure the higher-ups will make sure you get the best of the spoils, your excelness. The boss is in the temple inside. Uh, Mithara, too. And, and Priestess Gug can show you how many new recruits we got. I don't know any house in your excelness. Oh, one of them thieves. If he ain't dead... 
is in the pits with the rest of them. The pits? He couldn't be somewhere pleasant sounding, could he? Better still be alive. We're gonna miss out on all the drinking! Shut it! So the tadpole gives us the ability to influence others. Ignore it. Deny it. This is nothing but a disease, and every use will sicken us further. Tch, nonsense. Any power freely given is a power well received, and this is a valuable power indeed. It's only valuable if we understand it, and we don't. Not yet, at least. My point exactly. I'm so glad you agree. Then we'll head north towards the celebration. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Sounds like they've captured themselves above. My squad just reached level 5 except for Shadow, and that happens because of converted Inspiration Points, which I've talked about back in Episode 13 at the Whispering Depths. So I'm just gonna level them up later after Shadow catches up. Very well. Ah, with fragulous crown and with scepter abrade, draw Ragslin. Short work of the innkeeper made. <laughs> the inn burnt to ash. The captives were many. Goblet kind had reduced them to cowering filfenny. So raise it, your goblets, and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin, the true soul, had led you collide. <laughs> You! Move on! Do as she says. Now. <clears throat> now, where was I, huh? Wait a tick. That a friend of yours? Oops, oh, I'm not. What are you doing? I'm busy here. You lying. To you? Never. Come, let's continue our ballad. <clears throat> Uh, draw Ragslin! Uh, draw Ragslin! Um, uh, um, uh, I am a Draw Ragslin! Um, um, come choose! Uh, draw Ragslin! Uh, um. You broke him! Wait! Wait! Uh, draw Ragslin! We pray! We. Come on, pigeon! Back to your cage! Now, look what you've done. Come on! Of course. My name's Gribber, idiot! Right, yes. More for me. Love it! Remember that we already met Volo back in episode 7 at the Emerald Grove. Anyway, let's trade with a goblin merchant. Just a beam. It don't feel right messing with that is all. Oh, shut it! What kind of coward won't you? You look like you got something jingling in your pocket. Looking to spend it? Nicked him off the dead, didn't I? I have tons of gold, so I'm gonna buy all his uniques.
Get moving. I've got other customers. Keep that bird away from the merchandise. Need to find a way forward. Back in episode 9, I killed an adult owlbear, and its cub found its way here in the goblin camp. My goal, like with a dog scratch, is to bring it back to my campsite and have it as a pet. You'll be chosen to hear her. Your it's got wings. Well now, you look like a toughen, but have you got smarts, skills, guts? And you're gonna need it, mate. This ain't your standard dungeon dive, right? This... This... is chicken chasing. It's got feathers, don't it? A beak? Besides, I reckon it owes us seeing as how it just ate our last chicken. Reckon it owes us a game. You wanna hear the rules or not? Only the greatest game since eggs sprouted legs, mate. You just gotta chase the chicken round the course and through the posts. But that ain't all. Gotta do it quick and alone. Any of your mates step in, you lose. Time runs out, you lose. Sound easy? It ain't. Better contenders than you've been bested by the bird. Ugh. <laughs> Fancy yourself, do you? Care to pin that claim down with some coin? Cocky, eh? Maybe you've got the skill to back it up. Or maybe I'm about to make a heap of coin. Let's get a crowd going and find out, eh? We're starting a new game! Move your eyes! This is gonna be my night. Yeah. Yeah. To win Chicken Chase easily, just follow my lead. Anyhow, you will need the ability to speak with animals, and in this case, I will just use a potion. Also, take note of my timing on when exactly to enter turn based mode. Now, talk to the cub. Mother gone. Hungry. New home. Maybe. Got to get away from here first. The cub seems anxious to leave, but afraid to defy the goblins. They have to be dealt with one way or the other. Next, you need to do some hard convincing. That's the game done. Come here. You need some support. My eyes Let's get going. That's the game done. Come here. 
Well, look here! That thing works even better in a chicken. Reckon we won't eat it after all. Pardon? Your what? Think you misunderstood, mate. Ain't no winnings, cos only a goblin can win chicken chase. Says so in the rules. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. to get weepy over it like here and uh, finally talk to Krola again to release the cup no more chicken chasing seems like it's all about money for some and I ain't got any to bet right go on then fat birds yours don't need the asshole Poor creature. Oh, I hope I can follow my scent back to camp. The cub won't appear immediately in your camp. It will take a couple or so long rests. Now let's discover the waypoints in this place and intimidate a cocky son of a bitch. Fresh his arm with me bare hands. We couldn't pick this humans. Oh, you got him good. And who are you? A half elf. Thinking you rule the world. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Everyone says that, and then they spit our faces. But no more. Things are changing. We got the absolute on our side now. You better learn your place. Go on. Kiss my foot. Or I'll wipe that nasty look right off your pretty face. End him or leave him. But don't you dare grovel to this slug. Come here. The goblin stares, mouth agape. Then he sets his jaw and falls to his knees. There. I've done it. Arrogant swine. Hey, statue of Saluna. He kisses. This uh, room must have been getting lost in her. That's a talk to me. I've got to take a piss. Crusher went for a piss, and we're going to follow him because he holds something notable. Let's make that the last piss he ever made. What a day. Can't even enjoy a drink in peace. They'll feel this. Look 
anything ahead. I'm gonna put this on shadow. Now we're back to where Krola is to unearth a buried chest. Take note, it's labeled in red, so sneak while interacting with it. Wits and blades always shock. Give up now. How much farther can I go? That's curious. Out of sight, out of mind. Let's climb the ladder back where we met Crusher to access more loot. Light on my feet. Let's get on with it. a step. Just use firebolt on one of the traps. And wait until the poison clears. Have a lot on my mind and, well, in it. Here's another alternative path to the camp, from the western road of the Blighted Village, if you want to avoid the goblins at the gate. Another very chest. Looks like the booze got the better of them. They're practically unconscious.
like what we did with Crusher, we will assassinate these hammered enemies. And uh, this will be the first time that I'll use LZ's Silver Sword of the Astral Plane. Let's start with the farthest one. One true way. Nice. Shadow is now level 5 as well. Eager for battle. An efficient path. Watch your back. Okay, now let's get more notable stuff by jumping across the collapsed ramparts. And I'm just gonna use LZ for this one. And uh, finally, let's backstab another goblin to get an inspiration point or EXP in my case. Never a dull moment. 
Alright, we are back at the camp to follow one will about his life as the son of Grand Duke Elder Ravenguard. Well met. Not so enchanting as you'd think. The poor tears, the cold wells, they were the blue bloods hosting the fancy balls and drinking from gold goblets. Father's the son of a blacksmith, born with barely a coin in the coffers. He made a name for himself among the flaming fist, brave as Balderan, stubborn as a deep rofe, daring, outspoken, but hardly posh. I spent more time dueling with father than I did rubbing elbows with lords. Not to say I didn't develop a taste for good wine and a talent for courtly dance. <coughs> it's been a badger's age since I've twinkled my toes. A drunk ogre could put on a better show. <coughs> well... Give it some time, develop a bond, and maybe I'll show you a move or two. I promise, Clumsy Oaf is well within my repertoire. Tomorrow's gonna be a long day, I can tell you that. So we need to get a good night's sleep. Yankee relic. I will have an explanation. Or your head. Walk away. Now. I won't warn you again. That artifact is an heirloom of my people. Likely she spilled Gith Yankee blood in order to steal it. This cannot stand. Heirloom? Plunder from some conquered realm, more like. This artifact is the only thing keeping us from becoming slaves to our parasites. Be glad I have it. Lozelle thinks I have something important to her people. She's deluded, clear lies. She carries an heirloom of my people. I must know why. Incorrect. Judicious bloodletting settles feuds and roots out the weak, the deceitful. Do you hear this, tripe? Our lives are at stake and she wants us to turn on each other. No others. Just you and me. It's too late. You can't appease them. We have to do what's right for us. The artifact stays with me. You think this can be settled with just words? No. Honor demands I take something from you. The bad blood must be purged. A jewel come first light. You mean I'd get to prove you wrong and thrash you? I love it. Get some rest, Lazel. You'll need it. You had every chance to look the other way, but here we are. You chose this. Spare me the justifications, coward! If anyone asks, I'll say you were transforming. Don't expect to be mourned. She's a liability. It's the artifact we need, not her. Let me up, and I'll show you. Can I do that, Lazel? Can I turn my back on you? Never. Thieves aren't afforded such luxury. Loosen the grip on your pride for one blasted moment, won't you? We needn't be enemies. Plenty of those to go around already. What would you have? 
that we be friends? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. But imagine what we might achieve if we channeled some of that hostility back at our real foes, instead of each other. They wouldn't stand a chance. It wasn't just me, right? But that scene was kinda hot. Anyway, remember that LZ is my romance, but I also want to keep Shadow as a companion. So uh, obviously, intervening was the best choice for me. And uh, before we find out the result of my mediation, there are a couple of urgent interactions that we must address. Moving ahead. dog wags his tail, a small bag clenched between his teeth. He gives in and surrenders his find to you. Scratch's tongue lolls out happily his tail wagging even faster. So, hey, we've got this soul coin, right? Thing is, I think I can use it. My engine can, anyway. Zariel used to top me up every now and again when she wanted me to go after an especially wicked target. Nah, it'll be fine. Sort of. Next time we find ourselves toe to toe with something we want to squash, drop a coin in, see what happens. Yes. Now I just need something to sink my teeth into. I don't think there'll be any more trouble between Lazel and I, if you were wondering. We can all sleep easier now. Well, apart from all the rest. Relax. We'll kiss and make up on our own time. Someone prodding at a newly opened wound doesn't help matters. With haste. where I am concerned. It is through conflict that we strengthen our bonds, yet I do not recommend Shadowheart seek it again. The next resolution may not end in her favor. This episode was devoid of combat, but don't worry, the next one will be action-packed. So, stay tuned in. And that is all there is for now, thanks for watching. Also, check out other videos from Sabbathan Philippines and don't forget to subscribe. See you on my next vid, peace out y'all.